All right, hey everyone, it's Natalie here doing a reading for the sign of Virgo right now, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, um, or if your person does, this reading may resonate for you, all right? So let's see what's going on with Virgo. What is going on with my lovely, beautiful Virgos with OCDs? Like, I'm kidding. But no, Virgos, what's going on with Virgos right now? Get an energy piece for Virgo. Wow, okay, so we have library. Take control of your own narrative, okay? Don't be afraid to speak up when it comes to the narrative about your life, all right? I'm I, I'm really getting that. People could be judging you right now, trying to like make it seem like you are something that you're not. Basically, this puppet energy, this puppeteer energy, you see how there's hands above this woman here. Um, so you're just trying to control your life, Virgo, and you just gotta be able to separate yourself from that energy because someone here really thinks that they have control look we have release your guilt they're trying to control you guys with guilt i'm guessing virgo or someone is somebody's trying to control you with guilt trying to make you feel some kind of way what else please for virgo holy spirit and angels what's going on virgo right now holy spirit and angels okay so we have invite help, invite the divine to pursue you seriously. Just say, I'm finally ready, God, pursue me. So spirit wants you to be an open vessel for them to come through and help you out with something. Um, I'm hearing you don't have to prove yourself. Let your spirit guides do that for you. All right. Then we have receiving here. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and trust my inner guidance. Yep. So it's like it's your spirit wants you to receive them, their help. It's easy to ask for help. But when someone here helps you, Virgo, do you receive it the right way? Are you the type of person to be like, okay, I want, are you like the type of person to be like a damsel in distress? But when whenever someone tries to help you, you sort of like push them away. Don't do that. Okay. It's like, it's okay to accept help. What's behind this card? Okay, yeah, so we have this energy of uh, treat your body like the palace that it is. Something about your body um, is supposed to be used as a vessel for something. So I'm also getting that in order to, well, you, I, I basically don't have to talk to a Virgo about how to be healthy. But, um, but yes, Spirit is saying for you, Virgo, in order for you to um, receive downloads or protection or divine divine help spirit wants you to cleanse your body or detox or something about your body is very important because this is how they're going to come in and help you because i feel like you your body has been controlled by somebody here virgo all right um let's see what's going on with the soul's journey for you guys yeah release your guilt from something I'm also getting like someone here tries to like uh, persuade you with whatever addiction that you may have. Um, it could be something as little, but it's something that someone knows that you have. So let's see what's going on with Virgo. What's going on with Virgo right now? Play Spirit and Angels. Okay, so we have service. I feel good when I can help others. Yeah, something about help is, is really significant here. Um, yeah, we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Someone's purpose is to help people. I'm not sure in what shape or form. Let me get another one. For Virgo. Let's go on with Virgo. Holy Spirit Angels, it's the energy piece for Virgo right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Then we have love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. So it's like you guys aren't bitter about anything, but there, there's definitely some sort of guilt that someone here is trying to put you under, like some sort of guilt trip, I'm guessing. I don't know if it's working, but we'll see. It's like you're in this energy, like I know the truth, so I'm not in the energy of trying to defend myself or trying to um, 
make it seem like I'm some like I'm not trying to get out of my element for somebody and that's good energy to be in because you have important things coming towards your life right now you guys have blessings coming for you and this person just wants to like guilt trip you or make it seem like you're not doing something right is basically what I'm getting here what's going on with Virgo Uh, honor your feelings. Yes, honor your feelings, not anyone else's, okay? Uh, first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings and not anyone else's, please. That's going to help you. I feel like that's what's going to cl help cleanse your body is when you are able to decipher feelings that are yours and feelings that aren't yours. Now, if you're an empath, like I said this in my last reading, if you're an empath, it's hard to tell if feelings are yours or if they're somebody else's, right? Due to projection and things of that such, right? Yeah, leave the past behind. It's okay to leave the past behind. It doesn't even matter anymore. This is what I'm hearing. So, don't feel guilty for wanting to move on. I, I'm a, I'm also hearing like it's not even that you guys want to move on. You just want to make your life a little bit better here, and someone here just does not want that to happen for you. All right, Virgo. Drugs, alcohols, and addictions. I knew there was some sort of addiction coming out. For you guys, I don't know if it's your guys' addiction or if it's somebody else's addiction. Now, let's say that if you guys are um, around certain friends or family members that have addictions and maybe you had the same addictions as them, like it could be something as simple as drinking alcohol or smoking weed. This person feels like you, um, you're you stuck to that mindset. It's really them stuck to the mindset. You just always did it out of peer pressure or like, um, I don't know, maybe you just like grew up around it something here was always at your fingertips so it was like hard to quit something this person thinks that they can like use that against you okay what's going on virgo <clears throat> what's going on virgo this is why i think spirit wants you to cleanse your body because there's something about that that's making this person have a hold on you i'm also hearing it could be as simple as partying like i'm hearing partying like just file just Controlling your uh, actions all the time. Someone here is always controlling your actions. Okay, Virgo. What's the energy, please, for Virgo right now? Holy Spirit and Angels. Someone rising in Venus signs. What is the energy, please, for Virgo? Someone rising in Venus. Okay, so we have family secrets. Okay. Secrets in the family, huh? Someone says, I'll be texting you soon. We also have disharmony in the home. So something is going on with a family. Um, and it's causing disharmony. Someone here does not want to be around this family. Because they want to text somebody. And let them know what's going on, I'm guessing. What's going on, Virgo? Or maybe this is how you feel about your family. You want to text somebody. You want to get out of something here. Someone here is trying to control your life. The fifth chakra, throat energy. So it's like this person's like trying to control what people say. Or they're kind of trying to control what you say. Or trying to control what this person says. Hmm. Family secrets. They don't want the family secrets to come out. Promiscuity out here. Yeah. Okay. The karmic is delusional is out here. Let me get one more, please, for the collective. I mean, for Virgo. One more, please, for Virgo. Someone here doesn't want someone... Yeah, cowardice came out. I'm going to put that back because it only flipped over. Let me get one, please, for Virgo. But cowardice came out. Um, someone does not want someone's... Someone does not want their family to know that they've been sleeping around or something about their family is here. White witch is out here. Okay. So someone here wants to talk to a white witch. Or maybe you're the white witch and you live in a, a household with when everyone is fighting, where everyone is fighting, and it's because of some secrets are coming out, okay? Um, there's secrets coming out. We have the tower in the reverse with the chariot in the reverse. I'm hearing someone swerving. Um, car accident? Maybe someone avoided a car accident. What's going on, Virgo? 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ooh, there's a there's a real big family energy here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo right now. Holy Spirit and Angels. The Lovers, Gemini energy. What else for Virgo? The High Priestess. What else for Virgo? So we got Gemini and Pisces out here so far. So someone here knows who they love. They know who they want to choose or something like that. They know about a choice that they want to make, but they're keeping quiet about it. All right. Um, Justice is out here with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like someone here got out of the cold in a way, or they got out of this energy of being abandoned. Nine of Wands. What else, please, for Virgo? Something is going on spiritually. I'm trying to figure out what it is. The Three of Wands is out here. Someone here is being quiet about who they want. Someone here is also like looking at their family a certain way. They're like looking at them like this is not the way of life. Someone is saying, I want to be with this white witch, not in this disharmon disharmonious home. Like there's some there's some sort of like conflict going on in a home. And it's like they can't take it anymore. I'm also getting like this person's intuition is eating at them with the high priestess out here and the nine of wands. And it's like they're waiting for something to manifest in their life. What else please for Virgo? Seven of Wands in the reverse. Five of Cups in the reverse. So someone here is no longer fighting a connection. That's what I'm getting here. But maybe they were fighting a connection in the past because this is in the reverse. Seven of Wands is in reverse. I'm also getting like there's no protection for somebody out here. Okay. Someone here is trying to get protection or they're asking a high priestess for protection. What else please for Virgo? Five of Swords. Queen of Swords in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Okay. There's someone here like bullying a high priestess. The high priestess is the one who doesn't speak much, but they know a lot, right? They're a psychic in a way. They have gifts here. Someone here is hating on someone's spiritual gifts. Um, and they're speaking ill will about her. Queen of Swords in the reverse. She's just mad because she's really dumb. Queen of Swords in the reverse just has no sort of intelligence. She speaks before she sees things correctly she's really stupid i'm really getting that energy here she has to be stupid to be talking bad about a high priestess here someone who knows everything this queen of, queen of swords in reverse doesn't know anything not even she's not woke at all page of swords is here with the uh the uh strength card someone's trying to hold someone back all right so someone here is like they did some they try to do some mind games on someone who knows everything or they try to lie on a high priestess who... Some here try to kill a high priestess with lies, but this high priestess knows the truth about them. So they ended up walking into someone's energy and now they're losing. They ended up walking into someone's energy without protection. So let's see. What else please for Virgo? Someone here... Oh, this high priestess knows the family secrets, huh? She knows the family secrets. We have the Empress out here and the Magician. And she can also manifest in her life. Also, I'm getting someone here is waiting for some, some magic to work on the Empress and it's not working. In fact, it's working for the Empress. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is in the reverse. It's working for the Empress. It's not even touching her. Fool in the reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm also getting like someone here did something to the Empress to see if it would uh, cause a fight or trigger the Empress and it didn't even touch the Empress. Or the Empress is just too focused on her life. Or she's just really protected. Or she just knows what's going on so she put her boundaries up. Nine of Wands. That's interesting. Uh, what deck should I use to clarify? Let me go back to the Gilded again because I'm feeling this deck right now. Um, let me shuffle. Okay, so we have this Hierophant out here with the with the Eight of Swords. So someone here is like stuck on their own religious views. 
which is why I think that they're attacking this high priestess energy out here. They're, they, they see things from a 3D perspective with the Hierophant instead of like a 5D perspective like the high priestess does. High priestess could talk to the spirits, right? But the Hierophant gets their energy from like, the, the Hierophant's kind of like the Pope, right? They build their credibility off of who worships them. The high priestess builds their credibility off of the scrolls and what is what is written in the Akashic records, their crown chakra. The Harfin is all about religion and rules and things of that such and who follows them and you know that's the power that you know the Pope has. Alright. But the high priestess is the one that hides behind the scenes. She doesn't need a crowd of people telling her that she's the best, or she doesn't need a crowd of people telling her that she's gifted. She just knows things. She actually most high priestess hate their gifts. They don't really like the, the fact that they know everything. That's like not a, a a favorable gift. It is at one point, but it's not. That's why the high priestess always has the dark and light pillars by her because the gifts that she has is can be pretty like dark in a sense, but they're light too. It's like a blessing and a curse. Her gifts are. So if anyone's jealous of the high priestess, they're they don't they haven't walked in this high priestess shoes. They can't. Clarify the uh, lovers, please, for Virgo, before I keep rambling and my videos end up being 50 minutes long. Clarify the uh, lovers, please, for Virgo. Ace of Wands in the reverse with the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. There's a truth that came out. Something here failed. Now a truth came out. There was some sort of mission that someone tried to do on you guys, Virgo. And it failed. Why? Because there's some sort of clarity that came out about somebody not being financially stable or somebody that just, like, don't love themselves here. Then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, very, like, malicious energy. Someone found out about this person being in a malicious energy. Ace of Wands in reverse, please, for Virgo. Nine of Swords, now they're stressed out. I feel like this person's stressed out about the secrets coming out about them, but it's like, it's it's already out. Two of Wands is out here too, so this person's like moving, moving away from this person that like is stressed out. They're worried about someone here choosing a new path. Could be a fire sign, I'm getting a lot of fire here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Some of you cannot sleep at night because they're not being chosen about a love situation. It's definitely a third party here. I'm also getting like someone here just wants someone to party with them. I'm hearing party. Someone here is not in the energy of partying anymore. There's too much disharmony here in a family. Yeah, the Nine of Cups in reverse. They're tired of partying. They're tired of drinking. Somebody's tired of like doing something here and they're holding back their energy here. They're also tired of holding back energy from a, a connection. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess. Someone here wants to be in the middle of a third, like a mid, in the middle of a connection here. Someone's like, no, you can't be in my connection. Or they know that if this person comes to you, there's no more parting or there's no more third wheel energy. Because I, I feel like that's what this person wants. Clarify the High Priestess. For Virgo. High Priestess for Virgo. What is that? The moon in reverse? I knew it. So there's secrets coming out. This High Priestess revealed the secrets. She already told everybody. That, well, she didn't tell everybody, but she knows the secrets. The secrets are out. Maybe she told a person here about these secrets. Six of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles is out here with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's the truth. What's going on here is the secrets are going to knock someone off their high horse or maybe knock someone off their popularity. It could be a family member with the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, but it's the truth here. It's, it's clarity here. King of Pentacles is also out here with the Temperance in the reverse. Yeah, okay. Someone here probably wanted to use someone for their money. Tell me about that, uh, tell me about that moon in the reverse. Six of Cups and the Devil in the Reverse. 
So secrets came out about someone in their past. They're detaching from their past though because they're realizing that their past is very toxic. That's what I'm seeing here. This high priestess could definitely be um, detaching from her past, but I'm also getting like someone here is detaching from their toxic past. Yeah, the king of swords. Someone here is in their right mind now and they're thinking about things. Yeah, two of swords. Wow. In the past, they were in a two of swords, maybe being stagnant, but as time went on, it's like now they're like more in their energy. Yes, the hermit. They're more in their energy of becoming more enlightened about things. Yeah, they found a secret out or something. I feel like you warned them about somebody. Clarify the nine of wands for Virgo. You know what? I'm going to start clarifying these uh, index cards. Spirit said you forgot to clarify the index cards, and I did. So we're going to do that right now. Let's clarify this harmony in the home. What the heck is going on in the home? Why is this harmony in the home, please, for Virgo? This harmony in the home for Virgo. Holy Spirit and Angels. I was careless with you. Okay. Clarify family secrets for Virgo. Family secrets for Virgo. I know I made a mistake. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Someone's family secrets are coming out. It's exposing the family or this person. And it's exposing you too. It, it's exposing who you are. Them being in this family's energy is just its just proving who you were to begin with here. Um, we are more alike than I admit. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. This person's saying that you guys are more alike than, than they admit here. They don't they probably don't want to admit it, but they'll be texting you soon. Clarify, I'll be texting you soon for Virgo. Clarify, I'll be texting you soon for Virgo. I'm waiting for an apology. So someone here is waiting for an apology or you're waiting for an apology. I scared myself that day. So whatever you told them, you were right. Whatever you told them, you were right, Virgo. And it's kind of scared them. It kind of scared them away. And it's like, but it's like, it's the truth though. That's why you're the white witch. This is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you as the white witch. Clarify promiscuity. Why is that here for Virgo? Why is that here? I pretend you don't mean that much. I never want to feel that way again. I'm hearing they don't want you to feel that way again. So with someone, oh, someone's addictions, Virgo, was their promiscuity. So maybe they slept around a lot. Their family knew that and maybe they held that above their head so they wouldn't come towards you. Clarify white witch. White witch. Why is that here for Virgo? I know more than you think. Yep, that's you guys saying that. You knew everything the entire time. What did you want from me, by the way, is what you're saying to this person, Virgo. Clarify uh, the throat chakra, and then we'll move on back to the tarot. I just forgot to clarify these. Why is this throat chakra energy here, please, for Virgo? You can't come with me. Someone says, I'm sorry, and what did you want from me? Okay, so this person is telling their family that they can't come with them, or they're telling someone around them that they can't come with them, is what I'm getting here. But they can't tell that. There's some sort of magic we put on someone's voice or the way that they speak to people. I feel like this person is very shy when it comes to speaking up against their family. Clarify this uh, nine of wands. How much time we got? 24 minutes? All right. All right, why is the Nine of Wands here, please, for Virgo, Holy Spirit, Angels? Six of Pentacles, the Lovers is out here with the Sun in the reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse, something here backfired. There's energy being sent back, like straight back to it to a person because I feel like this person wants to be generous with you here because they choose you as a lover. I feel like someone here worked really hard to maybe like block this person from you, but it's been exposed about who this person is. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo out here. Clarify the three of wands. 
Why is the Three of Wands here, please, for Virgo? Someone here is waiting for something. They could be waiting to communicate with you in a way. Or waiting for the right time to communicate with you. Clarify the Three of Wands, please. For Virgo. Sun, Rising, and Venus signs. Oh, they're waiting for something to manifest is what I heard. Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, and the Emperor. So someone here is going to be dropping something here because they really want to dedicate themselves to you and work with you. This could be a twin flame situation. I'm also getting like they're waiting for the right time to put something down here. Because something here is definitely burdensome. So it could be their family members or something like that. Then we have the emperor out here. Someone wants to take control to, with something. They just got to be careful because I feel like there's an empress in the reverse around them that doesn't want them to take care of that. So this could be like a mother energy. Clarify the seven of wands in the reverse, please, for Virgo. Holy Spirit and angels, seven of wands for Virgo in the reverse. Knight of swords in reverse, the star and the ten of swords. Two of Swords. Someone here didn't see something coming. Um, someone here is like irrational. Someone here can't block someone anymore. They have no protection in their life. This is why they act this way. But it's like with the Star card here, it's like someone here wants to heal something with you. They're mad that someone here wants to heal something with you. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of air. Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But yeah, someone here feels betrayed. That they can't block something or oh someone here wanted someone to be mean to you virgo and it's not working anymore it's like backfiring onto them clarify the five of swords for virgo why is the five of swords here for virgo holy spirit and angels someone here is jealous of this empress energy Five of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, and the World card, and the Emperor. So, Virgo, I feel like you're in the energy of, like, um, you definitely have abundance in your life. You're not even focused on this energy. Some here try to do something to you to try to get underneath your skin. It's not even working. Or to cause guilt to happen in your life or some sort of projection to happen in your life. It's not even working. Five of Swords is here. They're, like, really jealous. They're, like, looking at you like, what's wrong with them? Why aren't they unhappy here with the Five of Cups in reverse? You're completely over it because there's a new chapter here and you get abundance. So why would you continue to focus on this person here? You could also be like running your own empire here with the emperor. And here we have the emperor. So someone here wants to run an empire with you. Clarify the empress for Virgo. Someone here, like if you live with somebody here, Virgo, I'm also hearing that there was disharmony in the home. And they're realizing that they were careless with you. I'm being drawn to that. Yeah. Clarify the Empress, please, for Virgo, Holy Spirit, and Angels. Empress, please, for Virgo, Holy Spirit, and Angels. Now, Virgo isn't really the Empress in the Tarot, but the Nine of Pentacles is. So you guys are in, like, you guys are really taken care of here. We have the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords. So something that someone tried to do... It just didn't work. Someone here tried to like blind themselves from the Empress. Oh. They try to blind themselves from the Empress. They try to make it seem like you weren't the Empress, but you were. They were in this smug energy, acting like they didn't see the cup that you were offering them. But all it did was like cause you to move away. And as you moved away, there was like people fighting behind the scenes. Okay, so there was like family members or friends fighting with each other. Yeah, I guess these people thought that you were going to be messy and try to, like, chase after them or something like that. But the Empress doesn't chase after anybody. Yeah, so not only was this third party acting up, they thought that they could throw the third party in your face or that, that they could put you in your place in a way, but it didn't even work out. It just caused you to, like, move forward here. And you have a lot of blessings and, and spiritual gifts upgrades going on in your life. Like, your intuition is definitely on point. And it, it kind of scares you, too. That's why you're separating yourself. It's like, you don't... High priestesses don't trust anybody. You know, they don't They don't really trust because they're... It's like they feel the energy of 
discontent in the people that they're around so they decide to stay to themselves like an empath it's like they they feel people's negative energies around them all the time so it's like it, it kind of scares you too virgo but it's like at least you're not the person it, at least you know these things right clarify the magician please for virgo so we can move on why is the magician here please for virgo someone rising and venus signs the emperor ten of wands or the ten of pentacles in reverse with the empress in reverse and the high priestess in the reverse So this Empress in the reverse tried to manifest money out of this Emperor. Who's this Empress in the reverse? And they didn't get it. Who's this Empress in the reverse? Please, for Virgo. Seven of Cups. Yeah, she was causing illusions here. High Priestess in the reverse. Maybe trying to mess with someone's discernment. So Virgo, just watch. I don't know if this is you or your person who has someone around you messing with their discernment. Or someone here was messing with their discernment about you. Yeah. Yeah, controlling the narrative of your life. Someone was definitely trying to control the narrative of your life so that someone here would see you in a higher light. But it didn't work. Someone here, is, someone here is also seeing that someone here is an empress in reverse. This person cannot take care of themselves. What's going on with... Okay, so we have change in the night. You have change quickly here. Yeah, I feel like you separated yourself from this person. What else, please, for Virgo? Or you did something that they didn't expect you to do. Set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction. Yeah, someone over here was trying to, like, deter someone off the wrong road or the wrong connection. They're realizing they were careless with you. Let's be for Virgo. Um, growing up, wanting to grow and experience rejection of perpetual youth. So you or your person is definitely growing up and moving in the right direction. Yeah, we have find the lesson. Discover the purpose in the situation. Trust that you are learning here. So it's like, um, someone may not be in the energy of partying anymore is what I'm getting here, Virgo. Yeah, wedding, the situation involves marriage. Either this is a marriage that they were in or this person wants to marry you or they're thinking about it. What else please for Virgo? Okay, so we have calling in your soulmate here with passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Someone is trying to call you in. They're trying to manifest you back in. Your prayers and affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Someone is dreaming about you or you're dreaming about them, Virgo. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Like I said, someone here is trying to manifest someone through their addictions. But that's the devil energy. Yeah, deception behind that. Love yourself first. Flirt in the reverse. Yeah, keep an open mind. So someone's like trying to manifest someone with like lustful Knight of Wands energy here. But all it's doing is making this person more drawn to you and they're trying to manifest you maybe with that same energy but not with addictions. I feel like this person is trying to manifest you and with passion here. So anyways, Virgo, that was your reading. Hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.